Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to do another piece of layered art, which is a very beautiful theme of castle during the night time and some clouds around it. The template for this I have got from website designbundles.net and I've pasted the link in the description box and you can download this template freely from that link. So guys, let's get started. So guys, take a printout of the template on your desired size. I have some small frames with me. So I have taken the printout on A5 size, which is half of A4. And I have all these spare craft papers from other projects, which I didn't want to go to waste. So I'm utilizing those spare papers. Uh, coincidentally, I was able to match the colors as closely as possible with the colors that were depicted on the website when where the template is uh, listed. And I'm going to utilize these same colors. So. I have already arranged the colors in the required order from the bottom most layer to the top most layer and we'll be doing the paper cutting also in that sequence of layers only. So the first step is to affix the template on top of each of these papers and then do the cutting and then do the assembly. There is nothing to cut on the bottom most layer because that is mostly going to act as a background. So we'll start from the second layer from the bottom wherein we have to do the cutting. Now all the layers are designed in such a way that you have to cut out all the white areas and keep all the shaded areas. So remove all the white portions from each of the layers so that you are left over only with that portion which is going to be part of that layer. And you have to follow this process for all the layers. I will not be showing it for all the layers because the process is exactly the same. For doing the paper cutting, I am utilizing the Olfa paper cutting knife, which is my kind of go-to knife for majority of my paper cuts. After you are done with each layer, it is a good practice to place it on top of the previously cut layers and see if the alignment is okay and the look and feel of the layered art is coming okay or not. That way, if you have made a mistake in a layer, you can correct it by taking another printout of that very layer rather than doing all the layers and then checking that alignment at the end. In that case, you might have to do a lot of rework. So to avoid that rework, keep checking after each layer whether your layered art is coming okay or not. In this entire layered art, the most difficult layer is the castle layer as it is the most integrate one. And since I have taken such a small printout, so it becomes even more difficult. If you have taken printout on A4 size or let's say A3 size, then it will not be that much difficult. But due to the small size of the printout, my paper cutting has become even more intricate. But nonetheless, uh, like I said, this is the most complex layer. So you have to be a little extra careful with that layer because on rest of the layers, it is either clouds or, you know, stars and moon. It's fairly simple. The rest of the layers are very easy. So give extra attention to this layer so that you don't ruin your layer and ruin the entire work for rest of the layers also. In a similar fashion, prepare and cut all the layers. And once you have cut down all the layers, the next step is actually to put pieces of double sticky tape on the back side of each layer so that you can connect the layers together. Unfortunately, I did not record that part. So I'll directly go to the part where I'm doing the assembly after I have added the uh, double sticky tape on the back side of all the layers. So here we are, uh, this is the second layer from the bottom. So on the back side of that, I have put the double sticky tape. As you can see that I'm carefully removing the uh, protective covering from the tape from all the pieces and then aligning it properly with the previous layer and then pasting it on top of the uh, layer below. Now, the only thing that you need to take care here is one that it needs to be properly aligned since this is a small. So it is very easy to align for bigger pieces. It becomes a little bit challenging. So you can take care of a wall or some, you know, support so that it is properly aligned. Uh, second thing you need to take care of is that you should apply pieces on all the points in such a way sa so that your layer is not bending anywhere in the middle or it is not sagging anywhere in the middle. So you have to apply small, small pieces at all the strategic points rather than just applying one big uh, piece of the tape on the borders because that will not work. Otherwise, the uh, piece is going to get bent in the middle, which will not look good. So you have to take care of all these things. And once you have uh, pasted all the layers on top of each other, your layered paper art is ready. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video useful. If you guys liked the video, then please do not forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper arts and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Till then stay safe, take care and bye bye.